Hello and welcome to Blaze Mahmood Podcast. And this show is for visionary and entrepreneur learners who are thirsty for actionable steps and advice to make the next big thing. On the show, we'll be discussing everything related to business and entrepreneurship to help you do what you want to do and get you where you want to be in the shortest possible time. I'm Mahmood, the host of the show. I'm a curious person just like you and we'll be learning along with you from the great individual who made it and made it big. Now I'll be sharing everything I already know and the new things I'll be running with you all. So without wasting any more time, let's get into today's episode. So this is the first episode for the rebranded Play Mahmood, Play Mahmood podcast. And f- as this is the first episode, so I wanted to introduce myself, who I am, uh, wh- what is the podcast all about and what the future of the podcast actually. Yeah, that's all about it. And who is it for? That's the most important thing. Now, this podcast has been active, like pretty active since the mid of February. Not mid of February, but mid of March. Maybe March 14 was the first episode of Entrepreneurship by Gamble series. And it's been pretty active from that time of 2021. Absolutely not 2020 or 2019 or 2020, 2009. Not that time. Uh, okay. But anyway. Uh, so it was it is recently rebranded and recently rebranded like it was a re- in the rebranding process for a pretty long time not pretty long but like almost a month or like 15 days or or two or three weeks anyway i'd let's not bore you with the, all that stuff but let's straight get going to it like this today's episode is not structured in any way uh but the why is why am why you should, you should actually listen to a podcast or why you should might be interested or like get what value you can get from the podcast like today's discussion is all about it so first of all let me introduce myself and my name is a mahmoud yeah that's it a m mahmoud so m- many people think like there is a why i have a m and mahmoud like what's my last name or anything yes this is my legal name a m is my first name and mahmoud is my last name I don't have any middle name, in a way, uh, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, so A.M. Mahmoud is much for, like, many people call me A.M., you, you have seen previous episode where people call me A.M., or many call me Mahmoud, both are my name, and you can call me anything, A Mahmoud, or A.M., or a Mahmoud, or I have another nickname, which most people don't know, people who are my friends recently don't know, Except for, for on Facebook, because on my personal Facebook profile, there is a name, A. Mahmoud Adnan. Um, so, yeah. So, my nickname is Adnan. You can call me that as well. But don't call me, because I will not understand how do you how, how do you actually find that name. Just call me A. M. or Mahmoud. And why did I start this podcast? The first thing is, uh, I wanted to make something to give back in a sense the one one there's there's one thing is to, to actually give back and the second thing is also to learn in a way so what the two what are the two things what does it mean first of all i am very grateful for what situation i am in and i am want to make a change in the world like these are two things one on the first side, I'm grateful for everything that I have. I'm alive. I can see. I have a roof over my head. I have food to eat. I'm very grateful for all all of these things. And then on the second on the second side, I want to make a big change in the world. Like I want to have an impact and leave a mark in the world before I die. And that for the first bit, for the first thing, uh, for giving back thing i want to share everything i know with you all with you ex- ex- exceptionally exceptionally we'll, we will not call you all but be with you yeah that that's that's the whole point i'm talking to a one single person and the aim of your branding was to actually talk or like <laughs> communicate with just one person uh because that's the rule of branding or like that's a prime rule of branding that you're targeting more to one specific person. Anyway, let's not go into jargon. Of the jargon of the branding. That's it. Yeah. Anyway. 
I have read a lot of books since I was on I was not a reader in any form but I've read a lot of books like around 85 books since the last November that's a lot for me as a non-reader yeah actually since the November of 6 till today is when it is recorded is uh, 12 July so it's, till today I've recorded, studied or like let's say I read almost uh, almost 85 or 86 books read have read one book multiple times like yeah, so in, in that sense, I'm not calculating the books that I've read multiple times. So I've read a lot of books. Uh, I've tested a few things. I have started my business. Now, for making an impact, I don't know everything that that's clear. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a young lad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a pretty young person. And I, if I want to make us make something, happen i have to learn new things that's the rule of life if you want, want, want to have something or make something happen you have to do learn that and do something uh learning can be done in different ways through reading or like through talking with other person or listening to others like all these are different ways to learn basically right uh now hold on one second Let's get get in back right now. Yeah. So that that's a rule in life, right? So on this, and I've been lucky to be connected with a lot a number of people in my life. I had I was not connected to any anyone. I have I had zero connections, but I I'm glad that I've learned how to connect with a lot of people through social media or using different tools. Like not tools, but like in a way tools, but application like application or connecting. Uh, there are application where you can actually message people. Like, uh, there are application like like not application, but let's say platforms. So using different platforms, not just on social media, but there are other platforms you can connect with new people and talk with them, and that's an amazing way to learn a lot of things. I had my first mentor on last year on May. I had like I uh, was been mentored by a person. Uh, his name is Yusuf Khatim. He was also a guest on the show. So, so and uh, after learning this, after let's say having that experience, I knew that I was actually very lucky to have been connected with the people. Like I got the experience uh, of le learning in hand, like you know, virtually, but like directly through through people or uh, what I can do or let's say what needs to be done what I can do but what I have to learn what things I have to do exactly to go like take take the next steps let's say that's why uh, and I also know that many people don't have the access to it like many people don't have the access that I have right now I have the internet like I'm you also have that that's why you are able to listen to it, right? Even though, even then, many people don't know how to connect with people, how to ask for like help and the right way, or they just don't know the exact exact steps yet. Many make mistakes. I also did make, make mistakes. I was shameless. That's why I was able to connect with all, all these people. But not, not just being shameless, but being authentic or generally asking for help. Uh, and many people are pretty amazing, right? Especially the people who have made something, who have made some, who are successful. Those are most, who those people are the most kindest. And all the guests that I had or I have right now, there there are a few episodes which are already recorded. The next few episodes are already recorded, and those are amazing people and very kind. Or all of them, every single person of the, every single one of them are very kind. That's why I said like there are a lot of people who have the access to knowledge, who know something, maybe people who can sh if, if they share the knowledge, a lot of people will benefit. But they 
people like you or people like the earlier version of me or like e- even me now i don't have the access to every single person or and also i don't know every single single thing quite obvious like it, it's just a straightforward thing and that's why i decided to start this podcast and the aim of the podcast is all about to learn from those great individuals and bring on guests who will be able to share the knowledge and we will be able to actually create turn th- those advice into actionable steps that that's the basic format like we we will also be like it's, it's not all about that, that i'm creating uh, steps or like i'm creating the actionable steps that that's that's not this this is about right they're sh- sharing the knowledge and we can actually see the steps in between like what they took and we will try to try to in- interpret that together and al- al- also like um the the people who have done something know know a lot of things for being successful it takes a lot of courage and luck luck is also a big factor but the most important thing is the willingness and the boldness to take the steps that it, it needs so something sometimes you have to have crucial conversations that's a book by the way <laughs> uh, yeah i i forgot the name of the author but anyway let's not diver- get diver- diverted from the main topic but the thing is that if you are able to learn from those successful people what they had to do in wrong, like the right situations the wrong situations to make to understand like then you can be, you will understand like what is the what goes behind the scenes of building a successful business let's say or like building a successful uh corporation let's say it it, it can be non profit or the for profit but for making a big change there goes a lot of things that are that remains unseen and i want to like and most of the people think like it's easy it's not it's not it's very hard it takes a lot of, it does not does not only take courage and courage or this boldness it takes time patience and a lot of variables you have to take the right decision at the right time you have to uh, let's say ask for help some some many times you have to give give up many things you have to sacrifice a lot of, a lot of things so those are all the all the things that i want to bring up on the show that first of all it's not easy what struggle that had, that they had and how they overcame those challenges let's say uh, one of the examples is let's say writing a book that's an example okay so uh, when you are let's say you want to pen me you want to impact the world through books writing books writing an a, an amazing book is a hard thing and it's not all on all about let's say writing the book it's all of, also about writing like marketing that book right give me one second yes so it's not it's not really about, about writing the book it's also about listen marketing the book like making making it known to many people that's exam that that was on top of my head that's why i gave it even then there are, there are a lot of things that goes behind that let's say uh, ed- editing let's say one, one of the one one part is like ed- editing the books or uh, let's say i don't know all the steps but i i i i actually i'm planning to re- like release a book prison that's why um uh, prison i mean like in this month or the, ne- or the next month i have planned out the uh, contents but i have i haven't started writing that yet so let's say like first of all writing the book second of all let's editing those book like there 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 will be grammatical error there will be if you are a great writer it doesn't mean you are you will be a great designer so for designing that let's say the covers and let's say uh in between images that you might need potentially you might like draw an outlet during 
uh, writing the book, but and you want to add those images. Again, they're, they're, they're partially save. Uh, you want to interview people. Like, uh, the, the, it can, let's say you are writing up on a, a book about social media. And you want to, to not limit the book only to the fact that to do what you know. You want to go to experts who have done more than you who have been successful, uh, who are most successful, successful on social media, and you want to get their input, like, and people will be very open about it. Like, if you say, hey, I want to interview for a book, and I want to, and I'll be including it. People will be very gentle about it. Many, many, most will say no. Many will say yes. Many will say, like, many will say no. Many will say yes. That That's the thing. That's a mix of both. Yes. So there's an interview part as well. If you want to incorporate that, then after editing, let's say you have wrote the perfect book. It times for it, it. It is now the time for marketing that that book. What are you going to do about it? Do you want to, let's say, do a podcast or do you want to be too on podcast? Like guess on podcast, different podcasts. Do you want to let's say, uh, start a new podcast let's say i'm giving this example of podcast because it's top of my head because i'm recording one at the moment <laughs> yeah uh so let's say you're yeah, recording the bird it's starting a podcast let's say or like starting a page is starting uh what do you call it what other things can be done uh let's say like promoting on social media that's also a part like I, I've seen, I've like came across a lot of ads of books cause I read and all these things you have to, let's say there, there are a lot of steps just on the launch. It, it can be, there, there are a lot of variables that I missed already cause I don't know all of them. I have to talk to people. Uh, well, and the things i know like these are the things i know so far and the, oh i know a few other things as well let's say uh are you self-publishing or like are you publishing with a publicist publicist yeah uh so let's say a, a company which publishes like are you contracting with them or what's the process like like most of the people uh don't self-publish a book right i want to self-publish but on on like after, first of all i'm i will so I, I I'm not saying about about the book yet. Should I? Yes, I should. I think I should. Anyway, okay. So uh, to summarize summarize my book that I will be writing, like I'm writing, I'll be writing or I, I'm planning to write at the moment. This is the second book I'm that I'm planning to write. Uh, so this is about uh how to get anything you want by counting like and i i want to talk uh, like i've talked yeah i i had no i i haven't talked but let's say i want to write uh my experience from the, from starting from ground zero to get to where i am today let's say i'm i can message people right now and most of the people will reply they say not most but if many people that i am that were a few days ago not few days but like a few months ago or like last year it was impossible for me to reach, reach those people how can i reach those people let's say just for example let's say the guests that i'm getting so most of many of them or most of them it was impossible for me to reach uh, a few years ago i didn't know how to talk to them how i didn't had any english skills like speaking skills and and stuff and i will not speak say about like in in speaking skills that much because uh, it's not a gram grammar book or anything uh, but let's say i reaching out to people uh, and there was the best way to do it like all, all these things so that that's the book about on that that's on my head right now not that head but i've, I've wrote the content that's a pretty weird thing i usually write uh, type on my on, on my doc for uh, microsoft doc i type uh, but i've wrote the contents like there are nine or ten chapters also and that's about the book now now let's get back into our conversation where were we
so the, the, a lot of things goes into like i've said these are all the things that goes into writing that book i have to understand what next things i have to do i don't know let's say I, like this i also mar- i just marketed the book right now if you're listening to the book you have to, got an idea what's the book about do i know the name i still don't know don't know the name because i haven't decided on any name yet maybe the name of the book would be uh like the subtitle would be how to get anything you want that's on my head <laughs> yeah so uh yeah that's like let's say i just marketed the book a bit like it, this can be a process of marketing the book as well it, um uh let's say I, I know a few people who have a lot of people like not a few like a lot of a lot of people have started a podcast based on uh, only for marketing the book or like the book has been successful or like the best seller new york times best seller or like online best seller amazon best seller international best seller based on their marketing it also depends on that mar- how you market that book right so well, i can give you a few example let's say i'm we have covered the topics of let's say writing the book editing the book now we are on the marketing side i just marketed the book to you <laughs> before writing it that that is a rule that you have to market the book before you start writing it or you are in the process of writing it or it is best the it is not the rule but it is the best i take back my first word that we just said that it is a rule no it is not the rule but it is best uh to let's say right uh is it right i don't know anyway so it is best to mar- start marking the book before you complete the writing it, it is the best most people do that and so let's say like i i've give one example that i i i've just mar- marketed my book you can do different things like i i'll be giving a few examples right now who have started tra- who have uh, started their podcast based on book so one a few guests that i had were one one was called uh, my first guest, first guest uh, his book is called the entrepreneurial ethos he had a podcast named entrepreneurial ethos there was a guest whose book name was the construction career i think yeah and they and she had a book on construction career and many people actually have actually market their book through podcast and many many people do through social media and most people do, do both right so through social media through any other way to reach people like it can be through ads uh through any other way to actually basically reach people now i i, I to give a few other example is uh the who i have an interview uh, of them are like one is gary v let's say uh he had he has a book called ask gary v hashtag ask gary v and that book and he also has a podcast named ask gary v right he started he started marketing the book way 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 before months before uh, let's say actually publishing that book most will do that and the and the and the person is um mark randolph i guess yeah he the the co-founder of facebook let's say he has a podcast called uh that will never work because uh, then that book is all about let's say how to like how the history of building the netflix and he also started recently started on recently but he has 12 13 or 15 episodes but the book was published last last year i guess last year or 2018 or 2019 at the time he started writing that book like he marketed book at the time it was already in bestseller but now he has started a podcast to and the most important thing about books is that it keeps on selling once you write it after years and years you're going to get sales based on how much it is sold right you can write second editions if you want or the first edition will sell there are books in ni- of 1996 1980 or like older which are being sold today still now i think the covers are 
prints have been better prints have been it is reprinted but the thing is the same right and the book is same the writing is the same unless the it is the second edition third edition fourth edition sixth edition or the 15th edition no one knows that's about it like let's say i, I just give example of like the book how to market how can you market the book and how the process look like that i know so far or let's say i am working on and that's i think about it in terms of the book so today's episode was supposed to be about like understanding myself and sharing what what uh why i started the podcast who is it for and i just share what you need to do in terms of like writing the book which i i still don't know yet i'm, I'm i'll be i will try to bring on get i will bring someone who will actually who have experience in terms of writing the book i've talked to someone so i'll try to bring a guest who will actually give who will be able to share the experience of writing the book what is it about if you want make sure to send a message by saying we want a book publisher or not book publisher but anyone who who have written a book and what the pro- for the process and just send a message, a message saying book and i'll understand book and you don't have to write anything just book b double o k that's it okay so now let's going back into what i am i am mahmud i always said that um i said why i started podcast now who is it for like what who is this podcast mainly for this is for those visionary entrepreneurs like the people who want to have crazy big dreams yeah that's it and most of and most of the time you the, the people who have crazy big dreams make change the world like not to make but they change the world they are the people who are seen as say like valueless but they are they are the people who actually change the world they make the bigger impact they they are called all the bad names before they succeed but when once they succeed they are the greatest of all time all not all time but their time but they now now most of people who are making big changes are among the greatest of among the greatest of all times in their field right they saying it can be in tech it can be in non tech in been in brick and mortar they they the world is you know in a bad it not the world but now because of the spaceships and ro- rocket and stuff the universe is in a bad it like e- being living beings among the universe are in a bad it that's it i i i don't know if you are like you believe in the theory of aliens i kind of believe it but anyway that's not that's not important it is it is we are getting to know each other better so it is important okay so in, among this is these are the people that i this podcast is for i'm pretty sure you have been attracted through the description of the podcast most most probably or if been searched and by a friend who's hopefully you search this people hopefully after listening to this podcast you will suggest to people so make sure you suggest to people or anyone if anyone has suggested thank him from my side thank you for suggesting uh yeah uh that's about it uh, so this is the uh, podcast mainly for cause why is this person like why i decided to actually target this person or like why i want to make this podcast for that person exactly because i am like them i want to i am exactly like them i am to make i want to known by every single person in the world one one of my goal is like being known by every single person of the world possibly not being a terrorist or anything i want to be like in a, in the most positive way i want to be known by every single one and love love by people that's one of my goals i want to let's say i and i have like really crazy big dreams of uh, in 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 financial way and non financial way and that's why i know like if i can help enough people i'll be able to reach my goals and I, and i'm learning with you 
I don't know. I don't know how to how to do do those things yet. You you you, the guests I'm bringing in, they are teaching me. Like they they are sharing the knowledge, and I'm trying to interpret that how they did it. I'm using that. Like let's say, uh, one of the things that well, one of the upcoming guests, uh, like this, uh, on the show is uh, is talks about face reading. Let's say right. So uh, let's say I I've learned a few things about face reading as of right now. So I I'm taking those those knowledges and trying to implement and learn new things, which the things that are unknown for me ever, and these are let's say, uh, known. Let's say they, uh, these are known by those people. They have used it in different ways. I don't know about that yet. So I'm implemented this, implementing this, and being smarter. That's it. I know smart being smart is subjective, but for me, learning new things and trying and then understanding how to properly use it is actually being smart for for me. That's how defining smart is. So I'm actually really learning with you that how to make the great things, how to make a change, how to listen, even write a book, how to even write a book. Exactly, I don't know. How to publish a book or all these things, uh, all these things create a billion dollar company, billion or trillion dollar till trillion dollar industry. All these things I'm learning with you, and I'll be sharing everything with you. And if you're someone who want to join me in the process of impacting the world, you want let's say, um, what do you call it? You want to be a partner. You want to be an on- entrepreneur, not entrepreneur, even. I I love entrepreneurs because I I want you to be an entrepreneur because it's entrepreneur and by entrepreneur I mean everyone who want to make a crazy big impact. It can be for non profit. You can make let's say you can it will be a passion project, and you're do doing it without having any profits for yourself. That's not a profit. Even then, you are entrepreneur for me. You are making an impact in the impact in the world. You may call yourself a change maker. You may call yourself an innovator. I call you. An, I will call you an entrepreneur. That's how I define entrepreneurship. That you're doing crazy stuff. You're building and impacting the world. Even five people. If you're impacting five people, two people, even one a single person, possibly you are an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, and you are making a great, doing a great thing. Okay, I'm a, okay. I'm I'm being very emotional at the, at this point. Uh, So yeah, that's about it for today. I think is it, is it? I don't know. I don't know yet. Anyway, so I- I've answered who this podcast for, uh, and why I started it, uh, who I am, and the last thing is if you are, what do you call it? Why should you listen to this episode? Honestly, I don't know. I do know, cause yeah, cause I've started podcast. So you should. Oh, who? Why should you listen to podcast? Uh, the episode, the upcoming episodes, or the episodes who which were previously done. Because all this stuff. Yeah, that that's it. Uh, You you'll learn you'll be able to learn a lot of, a lot of things which were which will trust me which will be like mind blowing for you like you haven't learned these things like yet it will be many topics will overlap that you know this topic already but you will actually learn more that this is the direction by the people who have used in this direction previously there were different like two series going on I'm not going to talk about both of the series. But the name are like then entrepreneurship by gamble and the next angle. There was, for, there was a in first in, introduction video where I said I I'm sharing everything I know. Yes, I am sharing everything I know. Introduction of the like the first ever episode that that said that was about it. In the second episode, I think must not for marketing. I start try to start that series. I don't know if I'll keep on doing that that series because I there is only one episode, uh, and I'm trying to focus on. On one single audience at at the moment. Yeah, that's it. 
So why should you listen to a podcast? Because you're amazing. If you want to learn things that are unknown to you, and you want you want to learn things from the people who have done crazy things, not crazy, but yeah, crazy. For you, it may be crazy. For me, those are crazy, crazy thing, amazing things that have impacted people who have who have started to leave a mark, who have who are impacting the world at the moment. If you are if you are you want to learn from those people, then you can listen. Give give those episodes a listen, and you'll be you love to listen to the next episodes. Uh, previously there. The, there are two different sets of people that I was start targeting. The one was growth mind learners, and I try to cover different topics on the next angle series. So you'll find it like pretty diverse. Uh, but now it will be on on all the episodes will be based on let's say entrepreneurship and business, or all uh, everything. And I think I'll be at uh, I've recorded the intro and outro for it yet, so don't don't get bored. <laughs> So the intro is pretty short or the outro is also pretty short so don't don't get bored by that and yeah i think that's will be about it for today i think is it isn't it everything for today okay so w- what else do we need to know about each other to fall in love uh yeah so when i'm being off I'm based on Bangladesh and I've, I'm connected to people globally across the globe. It's a pretty weird thing. And not it's not a pretty weird thing, but it's actually a very, uh, it's a thing that most will have to understand that you, you're a global person right now. You're, you're a global citizen. You have, there are no borders at the moment. There are physical borders, but for connecting with people, you can and making an impact you are not limited to a country at the moment you can make partnership virtually you can make go to people learn things learn things online you can do everything online and if you want to learn things you want to do crazy things you know this you want to know the steps you know you're in the right place right you're already listening and this is free is th- is this episode sponsored no it's not uh this is an introduction video. This episode is not sponsored by anyone. It is organized by me at the moment. I have a few companies, not few, like I have a company named Omnidevolo and I'm working on a few projects that I'll sh- I'll be sharing details in the future, brief details for any project that I do in the future. Projects that will actually be aligned with the aim of this podcast. Only those projects will I'll share. And if you want to know more about me, I I also have a website. It's called ammahmud.com. That's my legal name. So you can search online ammahmud.com and you'll actually reach there. Pretty dope, right? Yeah. So you can learn more about me there. You can connect with me on social media. And... What else do we have to know? about each other i'm like i i i i'm a pretty introverted person so it's hard, it's hard for me to actually talk to someone it's not it's not hard for me to talk to someone but it's sometimes it gets pretty weird for me to talk to uh, myself on camera it's it's pretty, pretty weird i i can talk to anyone this the guests i mean all main guests are, like many of the guests are I hear I'm and I'm talking to them for the first time ever on the let's say on that episode I'm I'm talking to them and for for the first time ever I I'm having a great conversation with them it's a pretty weird thing but when I'm like alone when I'm alone I can also talk to myself a lot I I I think a lot I talk to myself a lot I'm not overthinking I think I'm overthinking but anyway I don't like to think that I'm overthinking but I'm discovering myself so yeah that's about it for today no that's not all about it but i don't know what else do we have to know about each other to fall in love yet uh so let me know i'll i'd love to talk with you at any time at the point yeah signing off bye